So where are we now? Uh, we're just outside the market. I think it's damn good, man. The lighting yeah. was fantastic. I think we got the best lights today compared to the last few days. Uh, a few days we are here. I think today is the best. Yeah, the light is good. Yeah. And uh, I think the the photos, the lighting, the street photos at the market is damn fantastic. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I'm all sweat. <laughs> and, and, and I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, the weather is very hot, definitely. But yeah. I think what makes up for the bad weather is the good photos that we can have. Yeah. Yeah. True, true. And um, right. today is the last day we have in uh, Hoi An. Yeah. So yeah. then after that we we'll move to Danan. Then we'll see what we can get over there. But yeah. we have to maximize our photos over here in Hoi An. Yeah, yeah. I think I have almost close to a thousand photos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And we will get more photos before the sun, the weather changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay, maybe tell us what you will have uh, for your camera today. Oh, I'm using the XT5 with the uh, 50mm. Okay, and uh, how is it so far? Oh, nice. It's because I understand that you are not really a Fuji user. Yes, yes. So your first time, yeah. sort of like your first time using Fuji cameras, right? Correct, correct. And yeah. uh, how's mm. your experience so far? It's been good, it's been good. Uh, maybe I'm... Uh, old and so the learning curve for me may be a bit slow. Okay. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. It's okay. much, much lighter and uh, I would say easier to use. La. I guess it's very intuitive, ah. but uh, especially when I think when we are in Hoyan, we do a lot of street photography. Yes, so yes. street photography, sometimes I always like to tell my students also, uh, it's quite good. I mean, it's important to offer camera to be very intuitive so it's very yeah. easy for us to actually uh, change the settings and stuff like that so I guess uh, it helps a lot when we are using a camera that is um, very convenient to use yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and what I have here is a GFS also and yeah. um, also a SH2 but oh. otherwise I think I think sometimes some people might feel that GFS might not be good for street photography but mm. I've been using it for street photography for for quite a while, it's quite good. You can always test it out later if you want. If you're not, oh. if it's not too heavy for you. <laughs> hey, Kate, hey, Dave. So, how man is the final day of our trip in Vietnam? How has it been for you? Very tiring, right? <laughs> oh yes, definitely, it's tiring, but it's very exciting too. Good, good, good. I'm, 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 I'm very happy that you enjoyed this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And definitely. at the same time, uh, I think we went to Danan today. Um, yep. And of course, where did we go? Oh, we went to Marble Mountain. And how was the place like? Uh, lots of steps. Difficulty. Lots of steps, <laughs> yes. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, I'm tired as well, but really thanks to you for all your effort to go up and down the steps and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I think the, the, the cave is um, more than a bit Yeah, magnificent, yeah. especially when the light's shining on from the top down. Yep. Yeah, the yep. ray is fantastic. And really thank God you know, for the good weather. Yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah true. Light. Light. Continuous ray of light. Alright, So correct, we yes. have a lot of photos and video of the place. Oh, definitely, yeah. yes, yes. But uh, shooting the cave, what lens do you use for oh, I, I was using the 8mm, the ultra wide. And for that little thing, little, little, yeah. little lens. Very small lens. Yeah. Yeah, the lens is definitely very good because uh, it's small and, and it covers a wide spectrum of right, the angle. Right. And of course, it's a new lens. Oh. And, um, yeah, you're very lucky to use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. and, uh, but so far, how has been your experience with Fuji camera and uh, Fuji equipment in general? Uh? Because I understand um, this is actually the first time holding a Fuji camera. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. It's my first time. And being my first time, I can feel the difference between my existing 
แลนด์แลนด์แสงแคมราอีกนส์ the Fuji the Fuji is light portable is easy to carry around unlike mine is it so yeah it's fantastic fantastic <laughs> okay, we shall not review what other what what personal camera yeah 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 but of course I I guess a lot of times a lot of us agree that Fuji cameras are always a bit yeah no, I've been told yeah, yeah I've been told and yeah. Uh, yeah now I can prove it. And I know of uh, somebody like my videographer who say that he enjoy, who doesn't take photos, but because he was using Fuji to do the filming, he wanted to take uh, yeah, camera, yeah, yeah. to take more photos yeah. because it becomes more exciting to him. Correct, correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. But otherwise, I think it's fantastic, and uh, I'm glad they had a good time. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And, and please make them a season three. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay Fuji, I'm sure you heard that. So anyway, uh, thanks very much. Thanks to uh, of course uh, uh, Dave and thanks to Fuji Film Singapore for making this happen. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be back um, in some other country soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to see, even though I may not be participating in it. I would like to see. Okay. The series. Okay. Yeah, definitely. We for this season we have uh, three more countries coming up. Very exciting oh, countries. Okay. Yeah, look out for it. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, that's about it. I have for you guys in Vietnam. And uh, see you for the next episode.